Let me start off by saying this, okay? When it's time for you to take your L, ladies, just take your L, all right? See, a lot of the women of today, their egos are so enormous that they refuse to take the L, to hold the L, to admit, yeah, I messed up. I chose wrong. I tried to replace you and I couldn't. I thought that I would do better and be better without you. And I ended up struggling. Just admit it, hold the L and take the L so that you can learn from the L, okay? And leave the L behind. But y'all refuse to do that. And because you all refuse to do that, I mean, it just makes you even look even more terrible than you already do, right? So now we have... Tyrese's ex-wife, Samantha, coming through yet again, trying to save face, trying to plead her case by saying, oh, no, I didn't want him back. And all it is doing is causing Tyrese to expose her even more and presenting an even bigger L than we already thought that she was taking. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's get into it. See, Samantha is the prime example of what happens when a woman thought that the grass was greener and it wasn't. She tried to replace Tyrese. Let's be clear, let's be honest. She was like, oh, I can do better than this. He's embarrassing me. He's not what I thought he was. I thought he would be able to give me more clout, more fame, more notoriety. And he started spiraling. And so I'm going to get away from him. And I'm going to actually take whatever newfound fame that he was able to give to me. And I don't know, use it to my own benefit now. But it didn't work. It backfired. Let's be clear, all the way around, Samantha tried to replace Tyrese, replace the man that he was, replace the money that she was getting from him, replace the fame that she was getting from him, right? And embark on her own new journey outside of him. Let's be clear. And again, so many women do this thinking that they're leveling up and all you're doing is taking an L. See, the L was for a loss, not for leveling up, ma'am. Anyway, you all, Tyrese came back out and exposed even more about Samantha, right? Not only did Tyrese let it be known that she tried to come back to him, but he even went as far as uh, telling us why she wanted to come back to him. And come to find out, it was because she's going broke. Whoopsie. And like I said, so many women make this mistake. Oh, I'll get a bit a bigger and better bag without you. Oh, I'll get a bigger and better man. Oh, I'm going to uh, level up. I'm going to upgrade. And all you did was fumble. You fumbled and got humbled. And instead of taking the L, you want to try to plead your case. And all it is doing is putting more egg on your face. Bars. Let's get into this, you all. I, I thought it was over. I thought we were done talking about them. But obviously not. You know, because again, a lot of the women's egos are so big. They just cannot bow out gracefully. They, just, they cannot just take their L in peace and fade into the black. No. I didn't want him. No, I'm good. No, no, you're not, ma'ams. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into what uh, Samantha and Tyrese had to say. But first, let's hear what she got to say. Again, like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. What, what, what you cannot say and what I will not allow to be said is that 
that doesn't make any logical sense. I would, if it was about money, I would have just stayed where I was at. Clearly, I had access to everything that I wanted. If I that that doesn't make any logical sense. I wouldn't leave it to go work multiple jobs. And and people know I make us a, a good amount of money. Why 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 would I do that for money? I no. It, I love this person, and there were just certain things that just didn't work out. And that's not for the world to know. But you made it known to the world. But it, let's go into the gaslight, though. All right. She's out here trying to, again, plead her case and save face by saying, oh, no, it wasn't about the money. Clearly, it wasn't about the money, because if it were about the money, I would have stayed. Why would I leave and then have to go and work two and three jobs, you know, and have to fend for myself if it was just about the money? Let's peep the game. A lot of women feel like once they reach a certain level, they can replace the man's money that he was able to offer and give up to her. Let's be clear. Now, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I gathered, Samantha and Tyrese were going on a lot of these different runs as far as um, talking about their relationship, their relationship on different platforms, right? So Samantha was essentially getting her name out. She was getting more recognition behind being with Tyrese. And so she probably thought that she had reached a level without him to where it was like, oh yeah, well, um, I'm probably good enough on my own to make my bag on my own. Are y'all following me with that? Like a lot of chicks can do that. I'm going to milk him and use him for his fortune, his fame, his name, his notoriety. You know, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be shown and seen with him to the point to where I'm able to have my own recognition and my own fame outside of him, which could equate to a bigger and a better bag. Let's be clear. A lot of chicks do this, right? As a matter of fact, we had adult discussion where we talked about women having starter husbands. For all we know, Tyrese was a starter husband for Samantha. Right? Oh, I'll, I'll use him to build up my name, build up my clout, build up my reputation, right? Become more recognizable. Then I'll be able to branch off and leave and build upon what I was able to build upon off of him. Let's be clear. Okay? Let's really peep the game. So let's not make it seem like, oh, no, if it were truly only about the money, I would have stayed where I was. No, when it comes to a lot of chicks of today, y'all want y'all own. Now, I don't want to be living in his shadow. I'm my own boss chick. I'm my own real woman. Uh-uh. I ain't got to just be up under him. As a matter of fact, once I get enough clout off of him, I'm going to go ahead and start my own thing. And I may be able to make even more money outside of him because actually he's hurt my image. He out here spiraling out of control and having these meltdowns and crying. So I would probably be able to level up a lot better by myself. Or let's go here. Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe with some real talk. I may ruffle some feathers, but this isn't what it is. Okay, this is what it is. Who's to say that Samantha also didn't have another man lined up? Now, previously, Tyrese brought up the fact that, you know, she started dating somebody soon after that breakup that may have had a, you know, reputation and fortune and fame by himself so much so that Tyrese was like look I'm not even going to say who you were dating after me because that would bring you even more clout that would make you go viral right which again signifies to us this guy was well known and so in her mind he was she was probably like oh well this will be an even better look than Tyrese so all the way around, Samantha, true game peepers peep game on you. We see right through it. You can try to use that whole narrative of, you know, I was not a gold digger and I was not a monkey brancher and I was not a clout chaser. And, you know, I truly loved him. You can try that and use that. But again, true game peepers, we see the play.
we see the play. You felt like you would be able to catapult yourself even further outside of Tyrese. I would be able to use whatever clout and recognition and fame he was able to give to me. And I'll be able to really capitalize off of that on my own or with the next man. Let's be honest, sis. It was about the money. And if it wasn't, why are you now trying to milk him dry as far as the child support payments? Please stop, Samantha. It absolutely is about the money. You just didn't like the reputation that came along with being with Tyrese, but absolutely you enjoyed that money and it was about the money. You just thought the bag would be bigger and better without him. Let's continue. Like the video, y'all. Y'all know it's some real talk. That's not for people to know. That's for me and him to know. And I hate that our business is out on the media sites. But who did that? Samantha, you did that though. Why? Because you wanted clout. You wanted fame. Which equates to you getting a bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, Samantha, you are the one that were going on all of these platforms and podcasts talking about your relationship and, you know, life outside of marriage now that you're dating. Like, you are the one that's bringing this up. You are the one that divulged all this information. So don't get mad at us because you said too much and did too much and now you're regretful about exposing yourself. Hold on now. Let's not get too far ahead of the game. Samantha, you did this. Because once again, you're chasing clout, fortune, and fame. So again, don't, don't, don't do this. It's the gaslight for me. I hate that. I hate when a female is regretful and remorseful and embarrassed, right? And now she wants to point the finger and point the blame at everybody else when she was the one who initiated everything. You are the one who exposed your damn self. Don't get mad at us for seeing right through you. Now you want to get mad at us because we in your business when you let us in your damn business. Come on now. I hate that because it's a family. It's a family that is broken apart. It's not entertainment. And I'm Oh, hold on. And I had to keep pausing, but what? wait a minute. But Samantha, it was a family. What? Not the chick that broke apart the family wanting to protect the family now. Not the chick that is going on all of these press runs about her broken family, talking about it's not for entertainment. Samantha, when you go on podcasts, let's be clear. A big chunk of podcasting is entertainment. Let's be honest, you all. Yes, we are able to uh, exchange information, enlighten people, inspire people, help people. But let's not get it twisted. A big part of the ingredients as far as podcasting is entertainment. If you're boring, nobody's wanna going to want to watch you, right? If you're not entertaining the audience, they're not really going to want that much information out of you. Like, let's just be clear. Let's be honest. Let's not, again, gaslight. See, I don't like chicks like Samantha. Chicks like Samantha will throw rocks and hide their hands and then blame it on the devil. Oh, the devil did this. Oh, Samantha is the type of chick that will completely destroy something and then complain about it falling apart. Like, you did it though. Oh, no, 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 it's not me. It's you all that are getting in our business after I told you about our business, after I made it entertainment, and now you all want to use it as entertainment when it was a family. No, it was a family until you destroyed it, Samantha. Like, let's really peep the game. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry that I'm going off like this. But chicks like this just really, like, irritate my soul. Like, they really do. Stop. No, don't. But you started it. 
You did it. You broke apart your family before we could even pick it apart. So again, who is at fault, ma'am? You were the one to highlight your family, your broken home, your broken marriage, and you made it entertainment by bringing it to a podcast. Now you're upset that we're using it on our podcast. We're talking about it. We're making it teachable and entertainment. So it's okay for you to do it, but when we do it, it's the devil. It's evil. It's not for public consumption. Girl, please stop. Tyree, see, Tyree, you, you are good for not taking this chick back. You are absolutely great for not taking her back. This is the type of chick that will completely take advantage of you, step on you, stump on you, leave you out in the cold. And then when things get boring for her or life starts happening to her to where she's struggling, she'll come back to you and say, oh, well, you know, I, you know, I really didn't stump on you, right? That wasn't me stomping on you. That was me building you up and making you stronger. You know, see, if I didn't put you through that, you would have never built up your level of endurance, perseverance, strength. So we had to go through all of that. I, look, I had to destroy you so that we can build back together even more beautiful and stronger than ever before. She's that type of chick. Very dangerous. No, you effed up. Be accountable. And that's what really like pissed me off with her because she kept talking about accountability this and accountability that. And she's not taking any. Now she want to be mad. Like, girl, you are the one that broke up the damn family. And talked about it and made it entertainment. Now you mad? Girl, stop. That's for me and him to know. And I hate that our business is out on the media sites. I hate that because it's a family. It's a family that's broken apart. It's not entertainment. And unfortunately, it's become entertainment. And I don't like it, you know, because it was somebody I love. Okay. Hold on. So then now here we have Tyrese. Right now, we 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 just went in on Samantha with her her gaslighting ass, okay. But now we have Tyrese. This is why she's further responding, right? So apparently, Tyrese came back out again and was like, you know what? Since she wants to do this and stir the pot, let's add a little bit more seasoning to the pot, okay? You know, because we just gave y'all a little bit. But let me really go in, especially after she tried to come back out on her live stream talking about, I didn't want him back. I never said that. No, I never wanted him back. I, I don't regret my decision. So now Tyrese has to come back and humble her a little bit more. Okay. Uh, okay. So you, you want to make it seem like, you know, you didn't say what you said. You didn't do what you did. Okay. Let me let me add a little bit more flavor to this, okay? So after Tyrese, I guess, saw what she had to say on her little, what he called it, goofy-ass podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's going to take me out forever, okay? After Tyrese saw what she said on her goofy-ass podcast, he's like, okay, I'm sick of her and her, again, gaslighting. You know, I'm sick of her and her trying to backpedal and paint different narratives and pictures that I know the truth about. OK, so let me go ahead and, and tell you all a little bit more of this tea. And this is what he had to say. Apparently, the real reason. Why Samantha wanted to come back. It's because she's struggling. She's going broke. She was not able to replace the good husband that she had. And now she wants him back because she sees that, yeah, the grass wasn't greener. The bag wasn't bigger. I wasn't able to really have my shine how I thought I would outside of your light. 
Whoopsie. Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. And so many of these chicks find this out the hard way. Now they gotta, you know, tuck their tails and say, you know, I I'm, I'm sorry. I want my family back. Let's make it work. You know, God told me to go back and get my family. And Girl. So Tyrese gave us the real tea, y'all. And this happens a lot. This happens a hell of a lot with a lot of these independent, strong boss chicks uh, that thought that they would be able to level up and come to find out, you know, you didn't really have that gas like that. You ain't really got that juice like that. You let yourself gas yourself up. You let your friends gas you up. And now you're like, damn, like this is not what's up. But Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. And, and let's get this tea from Tyrese. And three days later, after wrestling with, man, what, what, what was that call about? She texts me and she says, can you watch, watch Soraya for the next two weeks? Because I'm about to get put out of my place. I can't afford to live there anymore. I got to downsize and move into something else. And my fucking heart dropped Ooh. because I said, wow, you call called me after almost a year to finally have this conversation about reconciliation, which was disingenuous. It wasn't real. It was not a God moment. It wasn't you realizing that leaving your husband and your family as harsh and as heartless and as up and as traumatic and as, as vile and calculated as that was, you did not feel a way about leaving your husband and your family. You were entertaining reconciliation because you couldn't afford to stay in your townhouse anymore. What? Let's pause. And again, y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tyrese come through with even more piping hot tea. Like, since you want to go there and again, gaslight, let's add some more gas to the flames, baby. Tyrese was like, not only did you want me back and come begging back into my life, but the reason behind it was because Y'all broke ass couldn't afford to live where you were living. You wanted me back because your funds were running low. Oh, these chicks, like he said, heartless. They cold blooded, calculated. And a lot of them, because they are attractive or whatever the case may be, they do feel like they can get over. They can get it off. They do feel like, you know, a man will overlook that. But what did Tyrese do? He said, oh, so this is why you're regretful. You didn't have a coming to Jesus moment. You had a I'm going broke moment. I'm struggling moment. I can't afford to live the lifestyle that I was able to live with you any, any longer, any further. That's why I'm coming back. That's why I'm sorry. How many guys? have gone through that let me ask y'all before we continue put a one in the chat if you've ever had a chick come running back to you after the fact all because she started to go broke and she was struggling right she tried to paint this narrative or this picture like oh no i i just really love you and you know i just really you know, was praying and, you know, I, I was led to just get my family and, you know. But in all actuality, when you listen to what she really had to say, it was because she needed some help. Put a one if that's ever happened to you. And what did you do about it? Did you take her back or not? I, I would love to know. But if we see a lot of ones, that is because this happens a hell of a lot. See, Samantha is just an example that we can utilize to highlight such a uh, ongoing thing, an ongoing unfortunate thing. 
Oh, I can replace him. Oh, I can level up. I can upgrade. I'm, I'm good now. So I, I got myself comfortable enough to where I'm, I can, I can fend for myself. I don't need him. See, I'm just using him. And so I can get where I really want to go. But then she uh, couldn't go. What happened to your level up, ma'am? How are you leveling up, but you're having to downsize? So whoopsie. What? And yeah, I'm so glad that it is a lot of men out there like Tyrese that are like, yeah, I'm seeing right through this and I'll be there if I allow you to play on my intelligence, play on my heartstrings, play on my pockets, play on my life. No, no, you cannot come back. You exposed who you really are. And I can't unsee it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's continue. Yeah, two friends to call me. And she's like, oh, man, Sam's about to call you. She wants to reconcile. She said that God has really showed her that she wants to for a marriage and family. So I get on the phone with these two friends. One happens to be having to grow. And I get on on the phone and I'm talking and I'm listening and I'm like, okay. So then uh, tell Sam to call me. So she called and we talked. We were on the phone for about three hours. And the first thing I had to say to her was, you'll notice how fast I called you back, which means I don't need 10, 12 chasing me, trying to talk me into anything. And I don't want to play this game. I've been chasing you for almost a year. Now that you're ready to finally get back in the marriage, I want you to chase me. I want to play a game. I'm not playing no game. I'm going to get on the phone and we're going to talk about it. So after we talked for like three hours, I told her the first thing you may call Zelly or think of Zelly as some influencer, fat booty, uh, <laughs> vixen. You may put her in the category of whatever you as a woman put her in the category of but this is my girl mm -hmm. i'm in a full-on relationship you left me i have not talked to you i have not been able to get you to call me back you have literally left me this marriage and this family for dead and everything that you've accused me of in this paperwork and everything that has been revealed to me about your intentions i can't unsee that i oh can't unfeel that oh and, and that's that's the most humbling thing that a lot of the women like samantha had to have to experience right see even if a man is a true game peeper chicks like samantha they really feel like yeah he may see what i'm on he may see what i'm about but He'll let me get away with it. Why? Because I'm cute and I know how to do this and I know how to do that. And so, yeah, he, he may be able to pinpoint exactly the type of heartless, uh, cutthroat chick that I actually am. But, you know, he'll overlook it. My looks will override it. Right. And so Tyrese is like, yeah, I, I can't unsee it. I can't unfeel what you did to me. And so, no, you, you can't come back. I, I, I moved on. I haven't talked to you in over a year. And you're having your friends to hit me up. Like, I've been calling you all this time trying to, you know, come to grasp or come to grips or turns with certain things. And now you want to hit me up? And then... For you to only hit me up now that you're going broke, that's even further insult to injury. Now, did y'all peep the game when he said, yeah, you know, she tried to use God and, you know, saying that, you know, God told her to come back and get her her family. That's unfortunately something that a lot of these types of chicks like Samantha will do to, again, play on your heartstrings and make it seem like they are really regretful and remorseful. And in all actuality, they're just trying to get back in. And I hate that. I really do. 
A lot of these chicks like Samantha, unfortunately, will try to use the Bible and religion and things of that sort to, again, play on your heartstrings, make it seem like they're coming from a pure and genuine place, right? They they really seen the light and all they really saw was the funds getting lower. That's all. And again, they don't care about what you had to go through. And that whole time that they were on that nonsense, all they know is, yeah, it's not working out for me. And yeah, let me back in. But what did Tyree say? He said, I can't unsee this. I can't unsee who you really are. You exposed yourself. I can't, I can't put the genie back in the bottle. I can't put all of the, the time, the money that I spent back in my account. Like that, that's gone. I can't add that time back onto my life. Like that's gone. You played me. And in the midst of you trying to play me, you ended up playing yourself. But baby girl, that's not my fault. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's continue. I can't undo that. Mm. It's something else that I've never said publicly. That interview that she just did that went viral where she was talking about, you know, I, people got in my ear and I was, I really regret ever leaving my husband and my family. Mm. I found out that her lawyer asked her to do that interview because she's appealing. No, I am appealing the entire divorce trial. The outcome of the entire divorce is all being appealed right now. So her lawyer has asked her to do that interview so that she can manipulate and once again play on people's emotions and appear to be remorseful or regretful about the idea that she made the decision to leave me mm. because everything about the picture that has been painted is the truth you're heartless you're vindictive mm. you're malicious you're trying to get twenty thousand a month for a now five-year-old and at the time the baby was only one about what do you think her intentions is now by doing this? But before that, before that she's final question, can you hear me? Famous, she's cloud chasing. She's out here manipulating actual abused women that are single, that are single mothers, that are divorcee, that are, she is out here using her sex appeal, using her gift to the gab, playing on people, gaslighting. Mm. Mm. It was so much tea that was spilled. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did y'all peep that game? Did y'all peep that game? Tyrese pretty much said that this woman is just all the way around a fraud. Very calculated, very manipulative. He said that her, her lawyer told her to do that interview on that podcast so that she can paint a certain narrative and picture of being regretful and being remorseful and all of that because Tyrese is trying to appeal all of all of that that's going on. So what she tried to do was use that as a way to be able to essentially strike back at Tyrese, right? To appear to be this, that, and the third. But let's not get it twisted, you all. I do believe that Samantha is regretful and remorseful. Be it as it may, her lawyer may have told her, yeah, go on the podcast, do this, do that, play on the heartstrings, try to win public favor. That, that could be true. But at the end of the day, I truly believe that Samantha is regretful and remorseful. If she could have her husband back, she would. The thing is, she's too ego-driven, and she's too embarrassed to admit that, especially after Tyrese rejected her, right? So yeah, I do believe that Samantha is regretful and remorseful. And it is because she was not able to replace Tyrese's income. She was not able to replace Tyrese's love and commitment, loyalty, right? She was not able to maintain and sustain her lifestyle that she was able to live with him. She is struggling. So, yeah, the lawyer probably did encourage her to do certain things to uh, present a certain narrative and all of that. 
But nonetheless, let's really peep the game. If Samantha truly could have Tyrese back and be able to keep her lifestyle and, you know, keep her family and uh, uh, present a certain image to the public, especially with her podcast being a relationship based podcast. Oh, she would she would hop right on that. The issue is she fumbled. Tyrese didn't want her back. Tyrese rejected her. And in the midst of him rejecting her, he's exposing her even more. And so her chances of really finding another Tyrese are slim to none. You know, and let's be clear, you all, as women, we want um, masculine men. We want men that um, can provide, protect, lead, teach. Like we want those type of men. But do you think a man like that would want a manipulative, conniving, cutthroat chick like Samantha? A calculated chick like Samantha to where she will do her damnness to get over on you and finesse you? Hell no. Nah. Men that actually have things to lose would not ever touch a chick like Samantha. Not seriously. Y'all may roll in a sack with her. I'm going to be honest. But as far as really marrying her like Tyrese did and loving her like Tyrese, like that's a wrap for that. And she knows that, which is why if she could, she would take her man back. But sorry, Samantha, you made your bed, lay in it. You tried to replace and you ended up being replaced. You thought that you could win and level up and you ended up taking an L and struggling. And unfortunately, this is the outcome for so many females like Samantha. Anyway, you all, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe. Make sure you all are also hitting that notification bell. That way you can be alerted for future dope discussions. And y'all let me know, have you been through something similar like this that, that Tyrese is going through? What was the outcome? What happened? Were you able to reconcile, you know, or did you just let it go? Y'all let me know. But I had to come back on here and let y'all know that, look, a lot of chicks, unfortunately, do this. And a lot of the times you end up playing yourself, trying to play on that man. All right. If you got a good thing, hold on to it. Don't blow it. All right. But with that being said, I'll see y'all later. Much love and peace to my crown head.